e-learning, I am sure you have frequently encountered the words like e-government, e-health, e-shopping, e-business, e-commerce, e-books, e-libraries, e-learning and so on. Almost everything today has gone electronic, while a few years ago World Wide Web was considered a privilege, today it is a necessity. Everyone can use and learn from electronic devices. ICT today has the power to transform education. The new millennium heralds exciting opportunities to diversify the ways in which education is offered. A greater flexibility is provided through online access to learning, when, where and how to do it. Today anyone can obtain education anywhere, anytime through online education. Thus, breaking the shackles of traditional classroom and adapting to new and electronic learning technologies empowers all learners irrespective of their diversities. This development in ICT has resulted in a learning environment called e-learning. Next, objectives after studying this unit. You will be able to sketch the history of e-learning, define e-learning and blended learning, explain the characteristics of e-learning, distinguish between synchronous and asynchronous e-learning, classify the e-learning technologies, explain the features of learning management system, LMS, differentiate LMS from LCMS, list the advantages and limitations of e-learning, list examples of different Learning management systems use learner management system explain the importance of e-learning standards. Next e-learning concept what is e-learning? E-learning is essentially imparting education through computer and network enabled digital technologies which include among other things internet, intranet, computer, satellite TV, CD-ROM audio and video resources. The term e-learning was first used in the professional environment in the year 1999 at CBT Seminar at Los Angeles. Therefore e-learning could be broadly defined as use of information and communication technology, ICT, to enhance and support learning. This could range from teachers and students using email for communication to entirely online courses. This term is used synonymously with virtual learning, online learning, computer-based learning, web-based learning, and networked learning, whatever may be the definition of e-learning. It is currently changing the way schools and colleges teach and the students learn the graphic below by M.U. Paley gives an overview of e-learning by looking into the associated terminologies. E-learning standards, e-learning delivery options, tools and technologies, and learner management system. Next, definition of e-learning. E-learning is defined by many people, in many ways. Since the term e-learning is used inconsistently, in order to gain a clear understanding of what e-learning is, here are a few definitions of e-learning. The letter E in e-learning stands for the word electronic. E-learning would incorporate all educational activities that are carried out by individuals or groups working online or offline via networked or standalone computers and other electronic devices. Brandon Hall defines e-learning as instruction that is delivered electronically, in part or wholly via a web browser, through the internet or an intranet or through multimedia platforms such as CD-ROM or DVD, Rosenberg. E-learning refers to the use of internet technologies to deliver a broad array of solutions that enhance knowledge and performance. Rosenberg claims that e-learning is based on three fundamental criteria. Next. Next e-learning is networked, instant updating, storage and retrieval, distribution and sharing of information is therefore possible. E-learning is delivered to the end user via a computer using standard internet technologies. E-learning focuses on the broadest view of learning. Learning solutions going beyond the traditional paradigms of training. E-learning involves the use of a computer or electronic device, e.g. a mobile phone, in some way to provide training. 
Educational or Learning Material, Derek Stockley 2003. Characteristics of e-learning e-learning is learner-centric learning. The learner-centric e-learning model makes an array of resources available to the learner, who is free to choose when, where and how to learn. E-learning for lifelong learning. With increasing access to technologies and its ever-increasing sophistication, this approach to learning facilitates lifelong learning among various stakeholders. E-learning is flexible learning. E-learning has historically been linked with distance education and flexible learning. In distance education, various technologies can be used to link learners, instructors and resources that are removed in time or space. The hallmark of flexible learning, as its name suggests, is its adaptability to learners' needs and circumstances. Next, e-learning is social. E-learning seeks to foster collaboration and peers' interaction. Various e-learning technologies facilitate various types of collaboration among learners and teachers. E-learning involves learning objects. E-learning uses reusable learning objects. This RLO permits one to create e-learning course with ease. E-learning is personalized. Usually e-learning system permits its users to personalize the learning by tailoring its offerings to their learning style, job requirements, career goals, current knowledge and personal preferences. E-learning involves effective communication. The effectiveness of e-learning also depends on establishing two-way communication between teachers and learners and among learners themselves. There are many standalone tools as well as learner management system integrated tools to foster interactive and collaborative engagement. Next, history of e-learning. Although e-learning has been around for decades, it has seen exponential growth in the last years, mainly because of the growth of the internet. A short history of e-learning is placed below based on the work of Roberta Gogos, 2016. In the early 1920s, Sidney Pressy developed a machine to provide drill and practice items to students in his introductory courses during the 1950s. Skinner presented the content in small, related chunks of information. Skinner's programmed instruction was very popular and at this very moment, programmed instruction was popular when it comes to digital self-study courses plato programmed logic for automated teaching operations was the first computer-based training cbt program it offered the drills and the ability to skip questions stanford university psychology professor patrick sappers and richard ackerson began using computer-aided instruction chi to maths and readings to young children Luskin worked with this university to install the first computer in a community college for instructional work. U.S. Department of Defense commissioned ARPANET to create the Internet computer mouse and the GUI are invented helping to define modern computing. Computer-based training begins at New Jersey Institute of Technology Personal Computer Era begins with Macintosh. Online communities begin sharing information, slowly paving the way for e-learning the first digital natives are born. Email takes off. It's the dawn of a new era of learning. Virtual learning environments begin and e-learning becomes a widely recognized term. LMS emerge by the end of 1990s businesses begin rolling out e-learning courses as a central way to train workers. Authoring tools are more accessible than ever and a wide range of online learning opportunities emerged a new wave of e-learning inspired by social media builds momentum. YouTube, Twitter, MOOC etc. Emerges, opportunity to connect, share information and learn from each other are found everywhere. Thank you for watching.